How's it going there, YouTubers? This is your one and only Python Versus here. And today, guys, before we take a look at the MCX Spear LT that I have here, uh, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel because I got a lot of content coming up. And uh, like and uh, hit that noti bell icon too down below. And uh, let's get right to it. We're going to be taking a look at the upgrades that I did to it. Um, as you guys may know, I did purchase the 11.5 inch uh, version. The main reason why I brought it in this configuration, you know, with the 11.5 is mainly because of the compatibility of it. Like I can take this thing, I can like fold the stock with it and uh, I could put this in a bag. I could take off the suppressor if I wanted, just put this in a bag and it'll be easier for me to transport. Let's talk about the upgrades on this and what is it that I have on here. Oh man, let me tell you about this can, man. This is the Flow 556K. This can, is a must, I, I say it's a must for a spear um, because it's a flow through. The spear works better when it's on a flow through can and it just works fantastic. Like I have a buddy that has a can um, that's not flow through and you can see um, the carbon just seeping out like through the seams of like the rifle and it's just, it's crazy. Man. Um, so I wanted something that's gonna be flow through. The, five, five, uh, the flow 556K five, five, has been fantastic to me. No gas to the face at all. Um, Surefire Light uh, Mini, I think it's a 340C. I, I believe so, or if not, I, ha I have so many Surefire. I think at this point, you know, Surefire should send me more lights at this point, but I have way too much Surefire lights. Um, PEC 15 uh, works fantastic, as you guys may know. Uh, pecs, they got they got their reliability. So I got a PEC 15 at the top. The grip is pretty much a tango down grip. I got no complaints of it. It's pretty much comfortable. Um, I'm able to grip it perfectly fine. I can C clamp my rifle perfectly with it and just no problems whatsoever. Um, For the magwell over here, I got the HRF magwell. Super easy reloads when it comes to this thing. Like, I don't have to freaking, you know, whenever I'm reloading or something, I have to look like, oh crap. Or, you know, I can't be one of those Jimmy dudes that'd be like, I can't find the magwell. So, yeah, the HRF magwells perfectly. Um, make sure you select the MCX version of it. They fit the Spear LT versions fine. So, if you're thinking about copying one of these, definitely buy them. They're worth it. When it comes to the site, I wanted to test this site out. Um, this one is the Romeo 8T. And it has four reticles, all right? Like this thing, you can select the reticles that you want on it. Um, it's not EOTech, but it's very, I think it's way more than an EOTech actually. I think I paid like almost $700 for this freaking optic. So, um, but the quality is amazing for uh, what it is. It's built like a tank, by the way. Like, <laughs> and it's not a holographic site, by the way. It is, uh, I believe it is just a red dot. Overall, it is per is a perfectly good site. Um, the price, like I said, is very hefty. So that's maybe one thing that you should, you know, be aware about. Um, you know, would you choose an EOTech or this? That's up to you guys, you know? I love EOTech. I have it on my brand MS2 and it is freaking fantastic. Um, so this site, I love it so far. There's no issues with it. It's super clear. Um, now shooting this rifle, it is it has been a dream. Like I said, this is pretty much my complete rifle. At first, I really thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it. I really thought I was gonna hate it, to be honest, because at first I was like, uh, let me try to get, I, I, I've been spoiled, all right? I built up my CZ Bren 2 and she's complete and now she shoots like a dream. So going from the Bren 2 to this, it's like, oh, you know? So, you know, but now that it's complete, it has grown on me. And like I said, it's gonna be my, uh, my main range toy when taking it out. I will be using this all the time. She's very easy to pack up too. Like, like I said, you just fold the folding stock, take the suppressor off, and then you're pretty much off. She's not, it's not a tall rifle, like I said. Um, it is the 11.5 inch barrel version, so. Um, but besides that, man, this gun has been fantastic for me. Now, I was thinking about maybe changing out the trigger on it, um, but the trigger is, has, it's, it's not a bad trigger, you know? Like, usually the triggers on rifles that you buy, like for example, any other rifle, this is like a quality trigger. It's not, too good like it's not geyserly trigger you know good but it is a good trigger and then like maybe later on down the line and if i want to like change out the trigger i could do that i could just swap out the trigger and then i think it's a ssa geyserly something that they call it and then drop it down there and she should <laughs> she should shoot even better than what it's shooting now so we'll see about that anyways guys this is your one and only python versus here and thank you guys for stopping by and uh 
hearing me talk about my spear over here and all this upgrades. Like I said, I'm gonna be taking this tool out pretty much mainly in it as like my range and gonna be doing some more trainings with it. Um, I'll give you guys more feedback the more that I use it. But so far, so good. I love this rifle, man. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I have another video coming up soon. Um, pretty much on my PCC. You guys know I love my PCCs. Um, when it comes to my pistol caliber carbines, is is, and I think you guys already know my top pistol caliber carbine. So I have a video coming up on that one soon because it's pretty much since the first time you guys saw it, it has been changed completely. Like it is almost a brand new gun pretty much. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I love you guys. And remember, stay dangerous out there. Take it easy. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and